Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. In today's equipment autopsy, I have a transmitter from a company called Harmonic in Sunnyvale, California. This is a model PWL4914S-AS-1. And burr nut repaired, burr. Laser diode is obsolete. Well, it's obsolete anyway. This came from a internet service provider and it's got an RF monitor port on the front. And it's got a status select and RF adjust thing here. And on the back, we've got an RF connection and we've got a laser connection. And I don't, I don't know if this is RF in and laser out or if it's laser in and RF out. Maybe we'll be able to figure that out as we go, but it looks interesting. It looks exciting. I want to know. So let's take it apart. Is this tiny enough? Yes. Oh, we're set. OK, cool. Simple number one Phillips. This is going to be the very epitome of no user serviceable parts inside. This is going to be a whole box made of things that I am not supposed to ever touch. So I'm a little excited. I take a non insubstantial amount of joy in going into places I'm not supposed to be. Oh, oh, look at you. Someone screwed it up before me. That screw was stripped out. Oh, it's going to be like that. No, nope, we got it. OK. So what do we see? So this is the electronic side of things. And we'll have a look around. I wonder what's under this. It's a very big heat sink. Cool. Nothing terribly interesting, just nice garden variety electronics. Okay. Let's, ooh, ooh, something's rattling around in there. That can't be good. Okay, what bothers me is this screw right here is not just stripped, it's completely rounded out. You can also see, if you look here, 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 see the little markings around the screw, that little white spot there? That tells you that somebody's been in there with a screwdriver that was not appropriately sized for this screw. Let's see if we can get it open anyway. My quiet hope is that these screws in the middle, especially that one, don't actually hold the plate down. They hold something, preferably small and inconsequential, to the other side of the plate. Moment of truth. Oh. We're still mounted on this, that, the nut on the plug. Get the washer off and then that, there we go. Oh, wow. This is neat. So we've got stuff going on. We've got a, uh, it feels like Teflon. Let's take that out. All right. 
You see the, there's a lot of dirt on this, a lot of schmoo. That's not something you'd expect to see inside a device. You know, there's no fan or anything in here. How'd all the dirt get in there? I have questions. Now, I see a really nice little fiber optic cable, which I'm going to try and remove carefully. So one side goes here. This is our laser diode. This is made by Harmonic Light Waves in 1998. This board, at least. And do you see this? Look at this. What is that? I got, I think it's just a wire. I think it's a piece of copper wire. There's a solder blob holding it down to the ground. There's a solder blob at this end. Let me get this out of the way. I think that's a piece of coax. Because if you look really close right here, really, really close, right there, that's a piece of coax. You can see there's the shield is grounded here. And then there's the center conductor right there. And we go around, and we're grounded here. And then the other end comes out there. This might be some kind of filter or trap or something. I don't know. This is, so you're getting into the world of RF. And when you get into RF engineering, there's a point where you just step back and go, that's voodoo. I don't, it's voodoo. It's, there's a priesthood of people who actually understand it, and they're not telling anybody. Though if you want to learn, wow, that was totally loose. That may be what was rattling around in there. If you really want to learn about RF and look at this, this one's loose too. That was only in two turns. This one's loose. This one's loose. I can turn all these by, by hand. All of these screws are loose. Like loose, loose. So now I'm not surprised that we heard something rattling around in there. I'm surprised that we didn't hear all of them rattling around in there. I think the one that we really heard rattling around in there was this one way over here. And I'm going to take that center one out which was also loose, so everything's loose. And I think I'm gonna have to take off these standoffs. Yep. So one of the standoffs was completely broken off. This thing's been really screwed. I mean, this is a very expensive, super high precision device, and somebody's just it's like a 200 pound gorilla's been in this thing. Now I know the guy who donated it, and I'm gonna make sure to send him a copy of this video, cause somebody's getting fired. <laughs> so, now that we've got that all out, just maybe I can lift this off of here. Oh no, I got another one. So I'm like, that's, for having everything loose, that's really sturdily in there. Come on out. Oh, so that one's, that one's been put in too hard and is stripped out. Maybe I'll be able to get it. Got to resort to pliers on that one. Yeah, we got it. 
What else is holding this in? We're soldered on the back. Ooh, look at that. Look at that big burn mark right there. That's not good. That's all crufty. Huh. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to take those out. I would like to remove this if I can. I have just the tool for this. I like that. I can use these to get way down in there. Ha, got it. Okay. These are now my laser pliers. Okay. So I got to take this out. That's lasered out. I'm trying to do this without having to get into desoldering stuff. I don't know if we're going to be successful in that. And I can't just unplug that. That's really on there. So I'll just have to be careful with it. Yeah. We're into some Allen head stuff. Well, that was just barely in there as well. Somebody took this completely apart, put it all back together again, and just brought the screws down close. They're not even like snug. Oh, now we're moving. Okay, what do I gotta do? Gotta take that out. It's a nylon screw. Look at this. I found the problem. And you wouldn't see it unless you took it all apart. Remember that burned really bad spot over here? This plug, the center pin of this plug, is that wire right there. Now watch that wire, which is soldered to the board, when I move the board. The wire is still there, but I have the board. So that can't be good. Oh, hey, and another screw falls out. Okay. So we can take the whole module out. And the problem is that wire had a faulty connection and arced out. I think I can get that. Right out. Maybe it's soldered in. Yeah, that's soldered in. That's a really sexy plug. Look at that plug. That's really sexy. Gold, soldered, money was spent. So I want to get a look here. Let's see if I can pop this off. Yep, just goop. Ooh, wow. From Power Trends. So these are the two big devices under there. Those are beefy. There's a lot of stuff going on inside them. That's cool. I think they're a kind of transformer. I'm not 100% certain, but you can look this up and comment with exactly what that is. What I want to try and do 
is get this laser diode out. I'm pretty sure there's no way I do that without killing it. And it's a sealed package, so I'm not going to see anything inside it. I'm going to leave this intact because we've already got the whole thing apart. And I'm going to hand this off to Ed and let him play with it. And maybe he can do something cool with this laser. But Ed's handy with the soldering iron. And the cool thing is this is all labeled here. And it's got the label right on the device. So here, I'll let you guys have a look at that. There's our laser module. So you can look that up, comment with details, and if you're hanging out in the IRC, and you should be, irc.thegeekgroup.org, you can hang out with Ed and talk about a cool application we can have for this little laser diode, because I'm pretty sure the amplifier itself is pooch, but I'll bet that laser works, and we were able to remove everything intact and not screw it up, so yeah, this would be kind of cool. Pretty simple one today, but a look into something you don't normally get to see. Not bad for something I pulled out of a dumpster, huh? You guys have fun. Thank you, sir. You know who you are for donating that. We appreciate it. I'm Chris Bowden, and as always, we'll see you next time.